This quick guide tutorial from ExoCAD shows how to use the Retention Cutback Library to design an implant bridge type wraparound. You may try this with the demo sample called Screw Retained Implant Bridge with Virtual Gingiva Design. Starting with version 2016, there are new options for wax up restoration types called Design Wax Up Digitally. Furthermore, for all restoration types, there is now a virtual gingiva design mode. The same modes are also available for Pontix. You will find more detailed information about virtual wax up and gingiva design in a separate video tutorial. Let's proceed to the design. If not required, you can skip the Emergence Profile step and proceed to the next step, which will be the Tooth Placement. Make sure that you use the correct tooth library. Only ExoCAD's generic library includes the retention shapes. Why not use the Chain Mode to do the Tooth Placement? You will find more information about the Chain Mode in a separate video tutorial. It is a very nice tool to design full arch setups. Let's skip the free forming. Select Design Virtual Gingiva in the Virtual Wax Up Bottom dialog. Click Apply to start blocking out the Virtual Gingiva's bottom. A separate video tutorial will explain the available settings in this dialog. Proceed to the Gingiva design step to draw the margin of the Gingiva. For these wrap-around implant bridges, I recommend to hide the anatomical teeth in order to design a smaller Gingiva area than you would normally do, as we just use it to design the major connector of the implant bridge and not really to design a Gingiva. To achieve this, draw the margin line a little bit wider than the final restoration's major connector will look like. Then proceed to the gingiva design step. This step can be skipped as the gingiva will be shrunk later. We directly proceed to the shrinking of the anatomical teeth. In this important step, you can now select between different cutback libraries. Let's try the retentions with 1 mm diameter. You will find more general information about all cutback libraries in a separate video tutorial. Alternatively, select retentions with 2 mm diameter. Click Apply when you have selected the desired library and proceed to the next step, which is free-forming the retentions. Before you do that, I recommend to switch to the expert mode and choose tooth placement to do some fine tweaking on the retentions positions if necessary. Here you have exactly the same placement features as in the tooth placement. You can still move, rotate, and scale the cutback libraries. On teeth with implants, I try to avoid placing the retentions in the areas of the screw channels, as the screw channels may cut away parts of the retentions. Here it is even possible to freeform the retentions. Cusps allow you to modify half the retentions. Tooth parts modifies just areas.
Entire tooth modifies the whole retention. And ridge affects just very small parts. Note that shrinking the gingiva is only possible in the expert mode. There are different ways to shrink the gingiva. This will be explained in a separate video tutorial. In our case, we simply want to shrink the entire gingiva. To do this, we deactivate the auto select gingiva and we clear all blue areas from being excluded from shrinking. Choose a shrinking depth of one millimeter. Click Apply to start shrinking. Click OK to close the Shrink Gingiva Design Part dialog and choose Freeform Gingiva in the Expert Mode. Choose Free and Smooth Flatten to smooth the major connector's design. Restart the wizard to continue the design process. Starting with ExoCAD version 2016, you can delete all connectors with a click in the Connectors dialog. Click Next to merge all meshes into a virtual wax-up. This operation may take a while. Then click Next to freeform the whole merged restoration. As usual, you can add and remove material, smooth parts, or modify bigger areas. Furthermore, you can use the Adapt feature to create a uniform gap between restoration and gingiva. Click Next to proceed to the next step. Switch off all screw holes. Click Next to finish the design. We created a wraparound implant suprastructure in not even 10 minutes. Thank you for watching this video.